part one of the Denise tutorial. So I've chosen this image for its excellent shapes. And by shapes I mean the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. I took the liberty upon myself to put the image into Photoshop, and I've gone ahead and I've cropped that image so that the subject is the face. After I cropped it, I decided I wanted the image to be a little bit more vibrant. So I stuffed around with the colours. Eh? Up here for thinking, down here for dancing. Now if you're wondering how do I paint this image perfectly, then the first thing you have to do is make sure that it's mapped out perfectly. And for this project, I've used an overhead projector to do that. And for the projector to work, I'm going to need to print the image out onto a piece of transparency film. So we've got our blank canvas. Now the question that's on any beginner's mind who hasn't done something like this before is where do I start? You could do the hair first, but we're going to try to minimize the impact from the overspray of the hair. First attack, the biggest part of the artwork, which is the whole face, obviously. So the first thing I'll do is mix up a base skin tone. And I'm going to try to make it something around what you see on the top of the lip here. I've just got a bit of wicked detail white in here that I've shaken very well. Just using some wicked detail yellow to mix into that. Bit of wicked red. Now I'll just keep mixing the colours in this little bottle until what I see in this bottle looks fairly similar to what's on her face. And we're going to start painting the shapes exactly as we see them. Just make yourself a cute little plan of attack. At this stage, all I'm doing is adding shape and dimension. I do this by looking closely at sections of an image and deciding what airbrush effect I'm going to use to create that little section. Is it one effect? Is it two effects? Is it a group of effects? It doesn't look like one little line that I can use to create it. Is it a line with a blend? Or perhaps a fade? Is it two lines blending in towards each other? You have to look closely at these sections of an image, try to break down how you're going to create that using your airbrush. Express the same things, but with different words. We acknowledge the same term, and those might have heard. It's like our last line you draw to remind us. Now, as a final touch, I'm just dusting on some color in places where I feel I'm going to need more of that base color to have a good foundation to add some airbrush textures. So we still be Now once you're done with the base layer, it's time to start adding some realism to your artwork with some airbrush textures. And we'll cover that in part two. Thanks for watching and spreading the love.